From the birth of Muslim civilization, calculations have been an important fact of life. Whether it meant calculating prayer times or money to be paid in charity, mathematics was integral to life. Muslim scholars eagerly studied ancient mathematical works and soon started producing their own. In the 9th century, Al-Kindi and Al-Kharizmi adapted the Indian numeral system to create the Hindu-Arabic numeral system. Famed Italian mathematician Fibonacci became familiar with the system and wrote his Book of Calculation, laying the foundations of modern mathematics for Europe. Al-Kharizmi is regarded as the father of algebra. The Latin translation of his book on algebra became a standard mathematical text in Europe for centuries. The significance of his book of Indian computation in Europe can be seen by the fact that it has come down to us via its Latin translation, while the original Arabic version remains lost. On top of that, the word algorithm is derived from Al-Kharizmi's Latinized name, Algorithmi. Historian of science George Sarton states, the first mathematical step from the Greek conception of a static universe to the Islamic one of a dynamic universe was made by Al-Kharizmi. Muslim mathematicians contributed to the development of modern trigonometry by introducing important concepts and functions. Tusi was the first to develop trigonometry as a discipline in its own right. Al-Buzjani introduced the tangent function and developed a new method for constructing the sign tables. His approach to trigonometry has been recognized as incredibly modern. Many of his formulas even eluded Copernicus. The novel geometric theorems introduced by Banu Musa brothers, three researchers at the House of Wisdom in 9th century Baghdad, became widely known by later scientists in the Muslim world and beyond. Sadly, lesser known is Al-Kashi, an outstanding 15th century mathematician who calculated pi correctly and was the first scientist to discover the relation between the circle's circumference and its diameter. Not only that, he came up with an iterative method for solving cubic equations, which was not discovered in Europe until centuries after him and has been described as one of the best achievements in medieval algebra. Interestingly, the law of cosines is referred to as Al-Kashi's theorem. Omar Khayyam, although more famous as a poet, is considered one of the greatest mathematicians of medieval times by Sartre. He was the first scientist to use analytical geometry to solve equations. It's hard to do justice to all of the contributions made by Muslim mathematicians, as these are just some of many pivotal figures who have contributed to the field of mathematics throughout history.